future doctors of the UK. If you come down to this video, most likely you are confused between the PLAB exam and the UK MLA exam. Nothing to worry about, we have got you back. Welcome to Academically, I am Sunidhi Shahi, your host and in today's video, we are going to discover how the transition from PLAB to UK MLA is reshaping the path to becoming a doctor in the United Kingdom. Before moving on, I request you all to subscribe to our channel and like and comment on our videos for more updates on upcoming healthcare trends. So, what does this shift truly mean for candidates like you? Let's peel back some layers on these changes. Firstly, let's understand what PLAB and UK MLA are. For many years, the Professional and Linguistic Assessments Board or PLAB exam has served as the entry point for international medical graduates wishing to practice in the UK. It was divided into two sections, PLAB 1 evaluated theoretical knowledge and PLAB 2 tested practical abilities. At present, UK MLA, UK Medical Licensing Assessment has taken the title of PLAB. All doctors, both those who graduated from the UK schools and international medical graduates, need to pass the new UK MLA exam in order to be licensed to practice medicine in the United Kingdom. So, what changed in the transition from PLAB to UK MLA? Let's dive in deeper. First comes the exam structure. There are two sections to the UK MLA, Part 1 and Part 2. While part 2 measures clinical and professional skills in real clinical scenarios, part 1 assesses practical clinical knowledge. On the other side, the PLAB which featured separate tests for theoretical and practical skills which was quite different from UK MLA structure. Now, coming up next to what's covered in the content. So guys, PLAB covered topics based on basic medical sciences, clinical scenarios and practicals. While the UK MLA includes applied clinical knowledge, clinical scenarios and professionalism as its main focus. Next in the line is their alignment with the UK curriculum. The PLAB being moderately aligned, UK MLA is closely aligned with UK medical curriculum and standard for full review of doctor's ability for practice. However, the eligibility criteria and the syllabus remains unchanged. Now, if I'm not wrong, you guys must be curious about these changes and how they impact international medical graduates. So graduates who were planning to take the PLAB would need to adapt to the new in-depth assessment format of UK MLA to get tested for both theoretical and practical knowledge. Now, have a look at the table displayed on your screens for easy navigation of the changes based on your previous aspects of the exam. As we get to the end of our journey from PLAB to UK MLA, keep in mind that although changes can be scary, it also offers changes for advancement and consistency in the field of medicine. Still anxious about where to start or got any queries related to the migration process? Worry not, we at Academically offer the best preparation courses for PLAB to guide you through the journey of practicing medicine in the United Kingdom. For more course details, head to the link in the description given below, PLAB exam preparation course by Academically. Also, you can book a free 101 consultation with our experts today and don't forget to ask us about these scholarship programs specially available for you. Please remember guys to like, to subscribe and leave a comment below if you found this video helpful for you. I wish you all the best and I hope you get whatever you wish to become in the UK. Thank you for watching this video. This is Sunindi Shahi signing off.